it's Danny here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and that you have on your post notification bell. That way you don't miss my next upload. Today, I just filmed this gingerbread inspired look and y'all, this took me so long to do. I've been here for like three hours and I didn't get no sleep last night, so I'm tired, I'm agitated, but this is as good as it's gonna get. This is my first attempt, so don't roast me too hard in the comments down below. <laughs> I was testing out the NYX Ultimate um, Brights palette. I've never used this palette before, but it is a beautiful palette and I loved the shades in it. I also just used a couple browns and all that for Makeup Revolution, so you will see those palettes in my video. So go ahead, grab a drink, grab a snack, and sit back and enjoy the video. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next one. So now it's just time to get into this look. So I haven't decided which palettes I'm going to use for this look. Um, I know I need some brown shades, so I think I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution. This is the Reloaded palette, and it has all these pretty brown shades and a couple pinks. Um... I'm kind of trying to stay away from pink. I feel like I always do pink looks on my channel, but this palette is just so pretty. How could I avoid it, you know? And for the orange shade, I need an orange shade for today's look. So I'm going to use this NYX Ultimate Brights palette. And this is just a pretty, very universal rainbow palette i have actually never used this before so this will kind of be a first impression so i hope it goes good i'm gonna use this shade right here this orange shade because i'm doing a gingerbread look i need a good amount of blush so i've been loving this la colors blush this is in the shade spice so i'm just gonna take this shade right here none of these shades have names so i'm just gonna take this one right here and I'm just going to put this on my outer crease. I don't even like the shade pink, but for some reason, like pink eyeshadow is just my go-to. I don't know why. And I'm going to go in with a darker shade of brown. These all look really um, warm. So I think I'm going to go in with a different palette. I'm going to use my other Makeup Revolution palette. This is the Reloaded, the Basic Mattes palette. Let me open it. And this is just a little bit more, <clears throat> more neutral. <clears throat> this is just a little bit more neutral. And these colors are not as pink if that makes sense so i'm gonna go in with i want a light brown shade so i think i'm gonna go in i'm gonna mix these two shades right here this is still kind of pink hmm. all right i'm gonna mix this shade and this one and i'm just gonna focus that on my outer crease yes this is beautiful okay yes This is more of the color that I was going for. So yes, I'm gonna go in with these two again and just do my other eye. Because I have hooded eyes, I have to take all of my colors above my crease. That way when my crease folds, you know, I'll still have the pigment on my eye. That way it'll still be visible. Just gonna go back in with that shade, with that first brush. And this is one of my favorite brushes. This is a Morphe 518. And it's just a fluffy blending brush. Okay, so this look is really, really easy. Now I'm gonna go in with the orange shade. And I think that because my brushes are dirty, like they have, I don't have any clean brushes. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to take this brush that has the pink on it and I'm just going to like cover it in orange. Hopefully this orange is super pigmented. It's kind of coming off yellow now that it's on the brush. 
Uh, let's pray. Father God. <laughs> All right, here we go. what I wanted yes oh my gosh yes I love it when it comes together all right this is beautiful see but now this took away that pink shade and I kind of liked the pink this almost looks like the favorite mustard shade that I go in for the um Jaclyn hill palette the first palette um it's called creamsicle it's one of my favorite colors um i love it for a transition so i think i'm actually gonna mix this with some pink to get that color back in my eye that's beautiful i've kind of lost the brown but i like how smoky this kind of looks i am gonna go in with a little bit of pink so i'm gonna go in with this and a little bit of that pink and I'm just going to put this back in my eye. Yeah, that's beautiful. I don't want this to go too high over my lid. So I'm just being very cautious about how much I blend and where my brush is going. Step this out. Uh, yes 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 and i'm actually just gonna put this over my whole lid still blown out beautiful gorgeous flawless all of the above yes ma'am <laughs> i need some coffee Stop going to Starbucks when you can make your own coffee, y'all. Be independent. Stop paying $5 for a small when you pay $5 for a can of coffee, $3 for some creamer, some sugar, and you'll be straight right here. Just imagine $8, that's a venti, and that's for one cup that's going to be going in, what, an hour? As opposed to unlimited cups that you can have like at least 50 probably servings of. So stop going to Starbucks. Stop paying the white man or the white woman. Okay. Let's call a thing a thing. I'm just saying. Pause. I just want to make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that you've hit that post notification bell right beside the subscribe button. That way you don't miss my next video. All right. Back to the video. <laughs> so i've decided to speed through this process because you've seen me do it a million times but just in case you haven't i will tag my basic uh flawless foundation routine up above in the cards for you that way you can watch that video as soon as we finish this one all right just enjoy this process and enjoy the music So for my lower, for my under eyes, I'm just going to take a brown shade and I'm just going to line it and then use the orange shade to blend it out. And then that's literally going to be it. This is the perfect shade. You need like a, a orangey kind of bronze pinkish shade this actually might be a little bit too pink that's okay where it looks harsh just blend it everything takes patience and blending that's all makeup is your makeup can be busted the colors don't match but if it's blended right girl you did the darn thing one more time y'all 
make sure that you have on your post notification bell and that you're subscribed to my channel. We're growing so fast and I don't want you to miss any uploads. All right, back to the video. I'm going to hold my breath and just draw this. Okay, y'all, so my camera died and I, I give up. <laughs> this is as good as it's gonna get. Um, I've done this. I've been here for like two hours. I have so much on the back of my hand. I've been here for like two hours. I wiped this off like two times already. This is my third attempt and this is as good as it's gonna get. Um, so I hope you guys like this video. I hope you like the look and I hope it gave you some inspiration. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that you leave me a comment below about what you'll be doing for Christmas this year. Have on your post notification bell. That way you don't miss my next video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, be happy, be blessed and stay healthy.